So Jennifer is helping us uh, get the products that we need to be yes. able, because you know, any color, but especially red, it comes out very quickly. And so you want to be does. able to have good products that are going to keep your color lasting. Definitely. Anything people need to do ahead of time before they get their hair colored at all? Well, we actually at Supercuts, we do um, pre treatments. Okay. If your hair is completely damaged and you need a little extra love. Because sometimes do that, that for happens. You. The more, you know, you, the more stuff you do to your hair, the more damage it can exactly. get. Exactly. And that's also, too, what determines the process that we take to get you the red that you want. It Got could it. be additional bleaching, additional color. It might not be the exact shade that you want at the very end. But your hair is going to be healthy. Your hair is going to be healthy. Okay, exactly. so let's start with and this beautiful. product, our yes. lovely model. Yeah. <laughs> So this is just a sulfate-free shampoo. This is something I recommend for any uh, redhead. Okay. The sulfates in the shampoos are what wash out those pigments. So this is going to help your color last a little bit longer. And that's for all color, right? Because my shampoo yeah, is sulfate-free too. I would say all color. Yeah. Okay, but so, but especially for especially redheads because it fades redheads. so fast. Yeah. Okay, and then this is a dry shampoo. Yes. Is this the one that you recommend to bedhead? Um, yeah, I think it's a great product. I love it. It works really great. Um, it doesn't build up on your hair too much like some dry shampoos do. Okay. I definitely recommend it for these. Bright, bright colors. Got it. Is this a spray or the powder? That's a spray. The spray. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's a lot easier. Yeah, and um, it just is the less you wash your hair, the longer that color is going to last. Okay, so yeah. how long should we be going without washing our hair? Um, I would say maybe once or twice a week if you could pull it off. I know it's I'm so hard glad for you said that. I'm so glad you said oh, okay. that. I'm an every five day but I was perfect. getting nervous. Perfect. No, there, I was getting nervous. Hair, yeah. The clean hair always looks the worst. This is my clean hair right now. When it's dirtier, it looks better. Okay, what's this last product so that you have? This is just a leave in conditioner. This is also something that's good for any kind of colored hair. But How often do you use that? So I would say anytime you shampoo your hair, okay. towel dry it, and apply it to the ends. Oh, okay, I, just the ends. Yeah, okay. and the ends work your way up. You Got don't want it. to put it directly on your scalp just because you can get it kind of greasy. Okay. Um, and we have all kinds of different products at Supercuts, and you can come talk to one of our stylists. Which one do you all work at? I the work same in, one? No, I work in Lodi. And Lodi? Yeah, Auburn. Auburn? Possible. Lodi, Auburn, Placerville, where are you? Jen? I'm from Placerville also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dan, you got everyone from everywhere. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for making the trek to West Sacramento. That's kind of a far drive. Thank you, our <laughs> lovely, beautiful models. Thank you for Who, by you. the way, are redheads. I asked if they just uh, dyed their hair for the segment. No, they had their hair dyed ahead of time. Did you just like put out a call? Anybody that works at Super Cuts with red <laughs> Yeah, hair? a little bit. That was smart, Jen. <laughs> Dina? Thanks, guys. Thanks, Cambie. Volunteers.